The U.S. Forest Service banning exploding targets in the Rocky Mountain region, at least for the rest of the year, at least for next year. A 7 News reporter Amanda Koss learning exploding targets have been linked to destructive wildfires here in Colorado. Amanda? And Mike, we checked in the last year and a half, just in the western states, there have been 16 wildfires that were started because of these explosive targets within this Rocky Mountain region. These five states you're seeing here, a total of seven wildfires on national park land and in this state, in Colorado, three. Open up your bag of white powder. From how to mix explosive powder to aiming, Ready. firing. Exploding targets seen in these YouTube clips. Hit the mark, hear this, and see a fireball. The same result when the government conducted these tests, proving the fire starting potential. This is highlighting the fire on the hill. U.S. Attorney John Walsh announcing the ban. No exploding targets allowed on national forest land in the Rocky Mountain region. We're talking about actual forest fires, wildfires, that have been caused by these exploding targets including this. In June of last year, the Springer Gulch fire sparked by an exploding target, charring more than 1,000 acres, costing more than $2.6 million. Dollar amounts, are it's a lot of money, but that's a small thing compared to the potential for loss of life, both um, by the public and firefighters. The popularity of these exploding targets booming. The impression, at least uh, on the ground, is that the use of these has gone up pretty spectacularly in the last couple of years. Why now? Why not do this sooner? You get to a certain point where you say, you know what, we need to take action on this. Mm -hmm. and, and that's where we are now. Could we have done it sooner? Could the Forest Service have done it sooner? They've been addressing this issue. People mm -hmm. don't want to close the forest down to any use that doesn't have a harm to it. Um, I think the, the degree of risk posed by these devices on the forest has, has really only gradually become apparent. And if caught using an exploding target on National Forest Service land, facing possible fines of up to $5,000 and six months in prison. Reporting live, Amanda Cost, 7 News.